The Master of Land and Water Systems program is a 12-month professional master's program at UBC. It focuses on the land and water system as an integrated holistic piece um, and provides students an opportunity to obtain skills, training, and knowledge in the area of land and water systems to address the emerging environmental issues of food security, restoration of degraded lands, climate change adaptation, and resource conservation. Our goal of the Master of Land and Water Systems program is to equip students with science-based skills, but also professional communication skills to be able to understand the context in which they are applying their scientific knowledge. I joined the Master of Land and Water Systems because I thought it would help join some of my interests and some of my education and experience. I thought that it would give me uh, opportunity to learn some new skills, uh, gain some technical knowledge, and also I thought that it would give me some opportunities to make new connections with people. We have a range of students that come to the program from all over the world and also a, a variety of disciplinary backgrounds. So we've had students who are engineers, biologists, geographers, agricultural scientists, environmental scientists, and also people interested in social science and policy making, as we require expertise in all of those areas to tackle some of the pertinent issues that are facing us today. I wanted to supplement my social science background with uh, more science, and the MLWS program allowed me to do that without throwing me into com hard sciences completely. Like They accepted my background as a social scientist and allowed me to build on those skills and supplement those, so the MLWS program is really a holistic program. This is a course-based master's program, but students all work on an individual graduating major project. What's unique about this project is that they get to work not only with a UBC faculty supervisor, but a professional co-supervisor, somebody who works in the public, private, or not-for-profit sector, uh, who will co-supervise the student on a project that will collectively be determined based on the student's interest and goals and then they'll get a chance to actually work on a project that's applicable to a particular community or geographical area. Some of the skills that I learned through the project process was GIS use, technical writing, uh, report writing, and also communications with First Nations groups. Something that's unique about the program is that it is a sort of small, tight-knit group of uh, people that come from a variety of backgrounds, so everybody brings an interesting and different perspective. The faculty that's here, uh, including Les and Julie, have a great perspective and will provide you a lot of time um, to go over any issues that you have or help you out through, throughout the year. This program is unique. Uh, it's got uh, a great collection of uh, highly experienced, world-class researchers, uh, some of whom have really retired but are still committed to the university, uh, younger staff, and a very eclectic but highly intelligent and motivated student body. And there's also kind of a nexus that goes on between uh, the academic uh, staff the student, but also those of us that are professionals, and it creates a, a great dialectic and an opportunity to toss around ideas and, and basically say, let's do something meaningful and then go out and do it. <laughs>